Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to um, Arlington, Texas, the site of the first supercharger in DFW. Mayor Williams mentioned that he was excited to see how many of us showed up. I haven't counted the cars. What are we, a little bit, just under 30 probably? Our official counter? More or less. Anyway, we love supercharger openings, and we were really honored that you and our city council members came today. And also, North Central Texas Council of Governments is here as well. I saw Kenny earlier. Oh, there he is. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming. And it's really appropriate that we're here today. Today is an Ozone Action Day. It's the second one of the season. They're coming earlier and earlier. And removing particulate emissions from the roadways is one of the most important things we can do to help mitigate those Ozone Action Days. As you might know, electric cars have no tailpipe emissions and don't contribute to these days. So, I know that's one of the reasons that many of us love our electric cars, because they're very environmentally correct. But I have to tell you that there are others. Some of us have electric cars because we love having a car made in America. Now, these, every succeeding year of these cars is more and more um, sourced from American parts. And the Model 3 is going to be more than 90% U.S. content, which will be the largest, best of any car manufacturer in the world. But you know, some of us have electric cars because we don't want to buy foreign oil. And electric cars are flexibly fueled by 100% Texas fuels. And so if you're just plugged in to Encore, that's natural gas, coal, nuclear, and a rapidly increasing amount of wind. But a number of us have our own solar power. And so even there, our cars are, are not contributing to fossil fuels. A number of us just have electric cars because we hate going to gas stations. And I can yeah. tell you that I haven't been to a gas station in four years except to buy a big gulp. <laughs> and I think there are some of us that have electric cars because they've always dreamed of having a family car that seats five that can do zero to 60 in 2.28 seconds. <laughs> but the one thing that Teslas have that no other electric car has is the global Tesla supercharging network. The supercharging network is what makes driving an electric car as convenient as driving an, inter an internal combustion engine, what we call ICE. We can get anywhere in the country without compromise, especially now that the, uh, the uh, network is being built out. And i got to tell you, the rumor of superchargers really gets us excited. And after, the, after it became public that you all met and um, were willing to put a supercharger in here, I'm not sure if you noticed, but you would have seen a steady stream of Teslas driving through this lot looking for any sign that this was going to happen. I know that some of you are here sending me pictures of spray-painted marks on the grass, wondering if this could be the sign that this was going to happen. Um, but this supercharger is the first one in the Metroplex since Denton opened in 2015. Back then, there were about 700 Teslas in North Texas. As of May 1st, uh, thanks to information from our friends at North Central Texas Council of Governments, there are now over 1,700. So we've added 1,000 Teslas since the end of 2015. And because this is an urban supercharger, and we're going to see a lot more of these over the next year and two, this is the first one that actually makes it feasible for people that live in apartments or condos and don't actually have the ability to have their own charging station to own a Tesla. They can come here once a week, sit here for an hour to 75 minutes, get a full charge, and use that 300 miles of range to do whatever it is they need to do over the course of the week, and you'll see them here on a regular basis as more and more people do that. I think you're gonna see this station's busy. I hope you all had a plan to double the size of it at some point soon, <laughs> and, and we hope we make it worth your while. So, I want to introduce you to our, our honored guest, uh, Mayor of Arlington, you know, I know your name, <laughs> Jeff Williams, um, who graciously, with his city council members, um, came to come uh, celebrate this with us. So, Jeff? Thank you, Rick. 
We are excited that the Tesla owners of North Texas came together to create this event and the excitement that we have is really, uh, we see that all around the Metroplex to have the first one of the charging stations here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Y'all, uh, our city manager, Trey Yelverton, brought this to us and, uh, you know, he stays abreast of all of the advancements here in the automobile industry because it means so much to our community as well as others to be able to move people in and out efficiently, effectively, and fast. And of course, a Tesla provides so much of that. But uh, I want to recognize our city council really embraced, enthusiastically embraced the opportunity to do this charging station after the city manager brought it to us. And we have council member Lana Wolf, council member. Catherine Wallman and Victoria Farrar Myers. So uh, we're all here today. You know, uh, here in Arlington, uh, we have really uh, seen a lot of advancement and a lot of opportunity, and, and our citizens take pride in the fact that we don't just talk about it, we get it built. And hopefully, this is evidence too. Uh, there, as Rick said, people were looking, well, is it going to happen or is it going to happen? Will it happen? And then, two, the other part is that we want to be on the cutting edge of transportation. In fact, uh, we are hearing from a lot of automobile manufacturers that there will be more advancements in vehicles in the next five years than, that there's, than there has been in the last 50 years. And that's exciting. And the electrification of cars isn't 10 years away, is it? It's here now, and it's working extremely well, and we're not having to compromise at all especially when you're in a vehicle like the Tesla and you go from zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds. It's, it, seemed, it, seemed, it seemed faster than that, Rick, because I've been in one when it did it. And uh, I was amazed the first time I was taken on a test ride in one and given that demonstration, and it's an amazing thing. And then who knows what's next uh, around the corner and of course, everybody's anxiously, anxiously awaiting the delivery of the Model 3s. And in fact, that's the discussion today, isn't it? When the Model 3s are actually going to hit North Texas. Well, the other thing I'll say to you is stay tuned because uh, autonomous vehicles are right around the corner too. And uh, that is, uh, in fact, they're they also are here. And who knows what's next? Uh, and we want to be a, a part of that. We're extremely honored to host you here. And then I want you all to turn around and look at the setting that we have right here. You know, this is going to be really cool. In fact, I would encourage all of you all to get in front of your favorite Tesla, and maybe your own Tesla, and get a picture back behind that. Because that's going to be happening a lot, and you count on Tesla's going to be here doing the same thing. But this is the view that you see before Ranger games and before Cowboy games on the TV so often. And then stay tuned. We are building this entertainment district, and we hope you're going to be coming over here to charge your vehicles, but also to go to Texas Live, which is going to be a world-class entertainment complex just to the south of us. Stay tuned to a luxury hotel, and the best major league ballpark in the major leagues is going to continue to be here in Arlington when we build the new one. And then stay tuned to that facility right back behind you because we're going to be retrofitting it into some really neat things here in the next few years. Thank you all for coming out. What a beautiful day and what a great day in Arlington to have the Tesla recharging station, the first one in DFW, right here in our community. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. So, um, Kenny. North Central Texas Council of Governments, DFW Clean Cities, is a big partner of ours and they host a lot of events that we wouldn't be able to do on our own. And they've always been very gracious to join us at all of uh, the things that we do, whether they're car related or environmental um, or just fun. And Kenny Bergstrom is here um, to join us. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Rick. Good to see everyone. I'm sure uh, some of you have seen me before. My name is Kenny Bergstrom. I'm with the North Central Texas Council of Governments. And we uh, host a variety of programs out there, including the DFW Clean Cities Coalition, which is a program I spend the majority of my time on. And we uh, host things like the National Drive Electric Week event that you guys have probably all been to, helping us set a record last year with 128 EVs. So that was a Texas record. 
and we had the most Teslas out of any event nationwide. We beat places like LA and San Francisco and San Diego with over 40 Model S's in one location. So I've got to hand it over to you guys. That was pretty cool. And so um, I'm very honored to be here today, um, participate in the ceremony, have the ribbon cutting for these awesome superchargers. Um, we're just very excited for Arlington, and this is a central location for the whole Metroplex. We're actually office just over um, on Six Flags Drive, so it's great that it's here uh, where we office as well. And um, the COG, the Council of Governments, and the Clean Cities Coalition has been very active in supporting electric vehicles in our region for many years. And in the transportation sector, which crosses city and county lines, and it uh, connects all of us, it accounts for 72% of all petroleum that is consumed in our area. And it's the single largest contributor to uh, ozone forming emissions, which is great that we have no tailpipes on these vehicles. <clears throat> so therefore, EVs are a critical part to helping us reduce uh, vehicle emissions and solving this ozone issue. And you heard Rick talk about it earlier. We're going to ozone action day today. We're going to do everything we can to reduce emissions in our area, bring us back into attainment, because we have 10 counties in this area that are in non-attainment, according to the EPA. So we're going to do everything we do to bring the, the pollution down and get us back into attainment. We were one of the very first Clean Cities coalitions in the entire country. And we can't give you a quick background on what Clean Cities is. It's a Department of Energy program. There's about 80 different coalitions, and we all operate a little bit differently. But for the Dallas-Fort Worth one, we're inside the Metropolitan Planning Organization. So we do regional air quality planning, transportation planning. I don't know how we fit in with that organization. And so uh, we help promote the use of alternative fuels to just reduce our dependence on foreign oil and improve air quality. We've been doing that for over 20 years. Uh, we run an electric vehicle subcommittee known as Electric Vehicles North Texas, or EVNT. Some of you have probably received emails about events, webinars, that type of thing that we send out frequently. Uh, and we have the great pleasure of working with all the passionate EV owners, as well as city and municipalities that run these vehicles, and they're making an impact every single day by operating cleanly in their neighborhood. <clears throat> and we also, like I mentioned, we plan the uh, Drive Electric Week event. I got some uh, save the dates here on the table. Um, so save the date for um, September the 9th this year. So as you guys know that uh, Drive Electric Week is over a two week time period. We're gonna do the first weekend this year. And then the entire next week, we're gonna do a webinar series kind of highlighting cities and municipalities that use electric vehicles, um, general public that uses electric vehicles, workplace charging, that type of thing. And then um, hopefully some uh, other fun surprises throughout the week. So we have thousands of vehicles that are, uh, thousands of electric vehicles that operate in our area. And that helps us reduce um, NOx, emission, NOx emissions, that's nitrogen oxides, by about five fewer tons per year and about six fewer tons of VOCs. And that's just through electric vehicle owners in this region. And then these uh, pollutants combine in the North Texas heat and uh, they create uh, this ozone problem that affects all of us. And so we're also happy to report that over um, 8,200 tons of CO2 are reduced. And that's equivalent to about 50 rail cars worth of coal not burned or 125 tanker trucks of gasoline not consumed. <clears throat> the chargers today are important because they'll help resolve range anxiety, hopefully give some people some peace of mind whenever they're traveling the region or moving through our region to maybe connect between Oklahoma City, uh, Austin, those types of places. Uh, it'll help uh, support EV expansion and will help us, of course, reduce air pollution. So they're also a constant reminder for people coming to the ballparks out here, or maybe they're coming to the convention center for an event, that it's so easy to charge. And it's just that constant, that public relations campaign of Teslas and electric vehicles and clean air, that type of thing that we all want to support. And so I just want to say in closing that uh, we're extremely uh, honored to be involved with the North Texas um, Tesla Owners Group. They're a sponsor of our DFW Clean Cities Coalition. Can't thank them enough for that. They come out to all of our events. Some of them aren't even electric vehicle related. So it's just great to have that type of support from those folks and su uh, support from you guys that come out to all of our events as well. Send us emails, let us know about the latest stats, the latest uh, openings of stations, that type of thing. So I just want to say thanks for the opportunity. Congratulations to the city of Arlington. This is really cool. Really great to connect the region and connect the whole state. So congratulations. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Kenny. We do so much stuff with them. There are a couple, Kenny went through a lot of things really fast, and there are a couple of things that I want to leave you with because it might be appropriate for you. Um, COG does a lot on workplace charging. So if you think your employer should have charging for electric cars, 
these guys can help you understand the benefits of it and help articulate that to your employers to perhaps get that done. They also do a lot of work on alternative fuel um, fleet vehicles. Now, there's not so much electric on that today. There's a lot of natural gas vehicles and, and propane. But you see where this is all going, especially when the Tesla Semi is released um, in September. Look to those guys, because these are the guys that can help you at work also do what you've already already done at home. And I also, also didn't take your stats away from you, Kenny, because <clears throat> I thought you might use them. But um, as of May, right after May 1st, there are now 10,000 electric cars in Texas, which is good. And um, DFW actually has a, higher, a much higher number of them than Houston, so go figure. <laughs> so uh, that's it for our remarks. I'd love to invite Mr. Mayor, Kenny, council members to come and let's, um, let's cut a ribbon. Ready? Yeah. How about a countdown? Three, Three two, two, one. Yay! Thank you so much. It's been our pleasure, for sure. So we have we have some cake. We also have some council members who brought their kids. It would be really great if we could show them a car or two. Oh! I'm such a poor host. That's why Teresa is here. Uh, Jeff, we'd like to give you a little something to commemorate our day today, and we and we hope that this will um, have a cherished place in your office. All right. Well, we need to look at this then. Oh my! A replica. <laughs> And it's actually is also a charging station. It's for your phone. Really? It is. If you let us know if your Android or iPhone will get the right connector for you. <laughs> yes. All right. So, volunteers for cars. Um, we're cutting some cake. So everybody get your cake. And we're going to plan to leave here around 11 o'clock to go to Plano, so we're not rushing. But what's going to happen at 11 is we're going to bring all the cars around and we're going to actually leave going this way. And Brandon, and um, there's Brandon over there. He's going to lead the way to Plano since he actually knows where the new uh, Tesla gallery at Legacy West is. And we're basically going to go down 30 up the uh, George Bush and we'll be there hopefully around 11.45. So thanks again for coming and let's have some cake. <laughs>